Hello friends, I'm back again, take two. So I'm just gonna wait for some people to jump on and then I'll give you a quick recap of uh, the word that I just released. Because a lot of people have just said that um, they couldn't hear me or um, it cut out. So I am going to try quickly for a take two and I found my earphones. So I just wanna know whether this is clearer than before. So let me know. Hello, hello. Ah, oh, hello. Hi, everybody. Lana Vors are here for take two. <laughs> I'm back. Hooray! <laughs> Not for long because uh, I have two little people that are having their lunch next to me. And, uh, you know, with children, you go minute by minute. Hallelujah. We're clear. Okay. Much better? Good. Yay. Thank you, Jesus, that I found my earphones. So good. Okay, friends, I'm just going to give you a very quick recap of the word that I just released. Um, so yesterday I released a word on um, turnaround, a seven-day turnaround. But the Lord spoke to me yesterday uh, that in the next seven days there was going to be a seven-day breakthrough, seven-day miracles, uh, especially areas where things haven't... Um, about the same okay oh and I, now I have low battery so I'm gonna have to be quick friends <laughs> um, so especially things that um, many of you have been contending for many of you have been uh, really seeking the Lord about uh, that there is a very specific seven-day turnaround that is upon you right now uh, there is a seven day I don't want to call it window it's an invitation from the Lord uh, to really be positioned as he releases keys of strategy uh, to you to uh, really move into a, a new level of breakthrough a new level of freedom and healing um, and uh, I'm trying to remember everything that I shared I was just flowing so much before and now I'm I'm uh, yeah just waiting on the Lord <laughs> okay so here we go. So um, I saw um, things coming at many of you that have come out of the blue specifically. So things that you didn't expect, they've come out of left field and they've hit you and you've spun. And you felt like in the last couple of months that you've just been spinning. Like, Lord, my clarity, like my clarity has been hindered. My joy has been hindered. My peace has been hindered. I'm feeling nauseous from the spinning. I just feel like I thought I was going in one direction and you were, you were, um, you know, I was heading towards breakthrough and then suddenly this thing has come into my life or this situation, this circumstance has happened and now I feel like maybe my breakthrough is further away than ever. Or did I hear you right, God? Have I missed it? What if I got it wrong? Uh, and there's a lot of things that the, that this um, that oh sorry, nearly knocking off glasses off the table. Um, there's a lot of things that um, that many of God's people are facing right now, especially in the area of clarity. There's been a, a real attack on clarity uh, to try and steal your focus, to try and steal your vision, uh, and, and specifically what the Lord has told you. Um, about this season. Uh, so I saw many of you that have received a word from God that God has said, this is what I'm saying, this is where you're going, this is what I'm doing. And then all of a sudden something's happened and, and whatever has happened in different circumstances is actually telling you the opposite. So what you thought God was saying, now there's another voice or there's another situation or there's another person or there's something that is telling you actually what you've been doing, what you've been standing for, what you've been believing for, that's actually not God. I want to really propose to you that... Um, that you will know the Lord's voice by his peace, right? You will know his voice by his peace and the joy that comes when you hear his voice. You will know that this voice that is, is, is really causing you to doubt what you have heard, the fruit of that voice is not peace and the fruit of that voice is confusion and it's actually causing you to feel like you're losing ground. So where you were, you were moving strong, you were taking ground, you were, you were moving into greater realms of breakthrough, then this thing has suddenly come out of the blue and now all of a sudden you're in this place of, oh my goodness, I don't even know which way is up anymore. I'm not sure, like God, am I even going in the right direction? 
and there is a condemnation that the enemy is trying to put on God's people right now to say, hey, guess what? You've done the wrong thing, or you've missed it, or you've stepped out. You know, you've stepped out, and it wasn't God. Let me tell you something: that this is the year of breakthrough. Amen. This is the year of breakthrough. God is going to bring significant breakthrough in your life in this season. And I, I prophesied this at the start of this year. And I, I had a dream and, uh, and the Lord spoke to me where I saw the Lion of Judah on a mountaintop and a blue light came out of heaven. And I asked the Lord as I was waking, what's the blue light? And he said, in, uh, in this season, Lana, I'm coming, but I'm coming out of the blue. And it was all about breakthrough. It was all about the vindication of God. It was all, all about restoration, recompense, healing, freedom. Uh, it was all about the Lord coming and fighting for you and bringing your breakthrough. But not only bringing your breakthrough, catapulting you into a greater realm of breakthrough and increase that you've ever known before. And this really is a, um, a destiny season right now where God's people are moving into a level of, um, of assignment. Uh, that, that we haven't moved in before. There are next steps of destiny and many of you are, cro are crossing thresholds of destiny. That's why things are so turbulent. So where you've been spun around and the enemy's thrown things out of the blue, I want to remind you today that the prophetic word the Lord gave me for this year was that he was coming out of the blue, right? He's coming out of the blue. Suddenly your victory is going to manifest. Suddenly you are going to be catapulted into another level of your destiny. Suddenly you're going to be catapulted into the freedom that has already been purchased purchased for you huh there we go look i am prophesying freedom and there are bells ringing where i am i don't know if you can hear them but there's bells ringing outside so the liberty bells are ringing god is decreeing freedom over you today he's decreeing freedom he's decreeing victory and it's time to not only take back the, the ground that the enemy has so been fighting for and causing you to to feel like you're confused but also to take further ground than you've ever taken. And so I want to prophesy to you today that where you have been spun around by circumstances, where you've been spun around by the lies of the enemy, where the enemy's come and he sounded like God, but it's not, where he's trying to get you into a place of, of, of oppression and trying to um, hook you into a place of, of pain that, and, and lie to you, that, that God is, is not working for your good or that God has something completely different for you, that he's released a word to you and a dream to you and a promise and now he's changed his mind and things are about to change. I just, I break that right now in the name of Jesus, right? God, there is no shifting shadows in the Lord. There is no darkness in him. He is working for you. He is moving on your behalf and you are going to have joy. You're going to have great joy in this season. So where you've been spun around by confusion and spun around by torment of the enemy and fear, where fear has spun you around, I prophesy over you right now in the name of Jesus that there is a seven-day turnaround over your life, that you are going to move into uh, the next... Uh, uh, the Lord said to me seven days from yesterday, but I just prophesy over you that in the next six days that there will be um, absolute like breakthrough there will be healing there will be signs and wonders there will be miracles in the next seven days the things that you have really come up against these these big goliaths they're coming down in the next seven days i prophesied something similar about seven days uh, a couple of months ago and oh no probably a month ago and we've had so many testimonies on facebook and and uh, and through our website of just people that have really received a breakthrough. So I want to encourage you in the next six days, ask the Lord how you can be positioned. It's not about twisting, um, sorry, it's not about um, trying to um, bend his arm, right, to convince him, God, bring my breakthrough, please. What can I do to convince you? He's already decreed there is going to be significant breakthrough for many over the body of Christ in the next seven days. So the responsibility for us is to ask the Lord, what do I need to do, Lord, to position myself to move into the seven-day turnaround that you're releasing right now? So I just want to release that over you right now in the name of Jesus, that in, in, after this seven-day turnaround, that things are going to look completely different to how they do right now. And it'll, it'll be so clear that it was not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. God is about to do what only God can do. Amen. Many, 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 many people in the body of Christ have hit the end of their rope and they feel like they've hit rock bottom and then they go, they go like lower still. But I want to say to you that the vindication of God is upon you. The breakthrough of God is upon you. 
And even as I was walking through the, the shops today, I, uh, I walked past a pharmacy and, uh, and I saw a bottle of perfume on, on the stand and it was uh, something royalty. I can't remember exactly what it was. It had a crown on it and straight away I thought the Lord say to me, I want you to buy that perfume. And I picked it up and I thought, I don't even know what it smells like. like I couldn't open the box. And I picked it up and I thought, well, the Lord's been speaking to me about royalty, that, that we're, He's awakening His people to the revelation that we're kings and priests and that we're seated in heavenly places, right? That we fight for, uh, from victory, not for it. And I turned the box around to have a look at what it said on the back. And right in the middle of the box, it said the scent of victory. And the Lord spoke to me and He said that in the, right now, there is a scent of victory. That, that is being released, the smell, the scent of victory. You'll begin to smell that, oh my gosh, it's breaking through, I'm moving, it's, it's coming, the victory, the vindication, what I've been waiting for, I can smell it. It's upon you, friends. It is upon you right now. And I just prophesy over you in the next seven days that you will smell the scent of victory. Amen, you will smell the scent of victory. It is close, it is so, so close, but it's upon us. Amen. And, uh, and the last two things I want to share with you is uh, in the last broadcast, I felt the Lord was, uh, there were encounters for many of you uh, in the next seven days and beyond as you press in, right? As you position yourself, that the Lord wants to take you into deep encounters with his heart to show you the power of the cross and the resurrection. The power of the cross and the resurrection. I, I just prophesy that over you, that you will have eyes to see the price that Jesus paid on the cross and the love, the love of Jesus, right? The love of Jesus that he died for you and that love, the revelation of his love and, and the power of the cross is gonna break lies. Generational lies and strongholds are gonna break in a moment and they will no longer, no longer affect any of your generations from this point on. And I saw the resurrection power of Jesus, the awakening being like released in people like fire where you, the roar will come out of you and through you that will say, no more, no more, no more. I know who I am. I know who I am and I move in the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. And you will begin to prophesy to your circumstances and in the next seven days, they will, for many of you, it will suddenly turn around. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I did have one other thing that I wanted to share with you, but it has completely exited my brain so if the Lord brings it back to me I will um, I will post it as a status or I will I will do something I don't know if I can do another Facebook live today but um, I just I wanted to release that over you today don't give up and don't align yourself with, with the lies of the enemy the lies of the enemy that are saying you know what it's over end of the road you know no breakthrough for you I just want to break that today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The scent of victory. And, uh, and in, uh, after the next seven days, I'm going to um, just post a, a Facebook status because I want to hear about your testimonies. I want to hear what God has done. That's what it was. Hallelujah. He brought it back to my mind. I asked the Lord, why seven? Why seven days? Why not 10? Why not 20? And the Lord said to me, seven, the number of completion, the number of perfection. And the Lord is breaking cycles. This season, he's been speaking a lot about cycles breaking, right? It feels like he's repeating himself over and over and over again. But I feel like the Lord wants to, to encourage you today that he is breaking cycles of, um, of fear, of pain, um, of oppression, things that you constantly come up against and you can't get out of this cycle. You feel like you're in a, like a mouse running in a wheel. You're spinning, spinning, spun around, you can't stop. It just keeps going round and round and round and round. I just prophesy over you in the next seven days, the completion of a cycle, the completion of a dark season is gonna break off you. Hallelujah. And the Lord just brought the other thing back to me, that the cloud that many of you have been feeling, the cloud of heaviness, the cloud of absolute despair, the cloud of fear, I prophesy over you in the next seven days that you will see the reality of the cloud that's over you. And it's a cloud of joy. It is a cloud of joy. 
what you've been walking through in the last couple of months is not an indication of what your season is or what it's going to be. It is the enemy trying to spin you around and knock you off course. But the truth is you're moving into greater realms of favor, blessing, victory, and destiny than you've ever walked in before. And that cloud of joy, the Lord said to me this morning, it's about to rain. But the joy of the Lord is going to rain in your life in this season. Like rain falls from the sky, but it's going to rain. R-E-I-G-N. It is going to rain. The joyful, confident expectation of what God is doing is going to rain in your life. And doubt and unbelief is going to be rooted out in the name of Jesus and you will be healed by the revelation of his truth but the joy of the Lord is upon you and that cloud is about to burst it's about to rain so I bless you my friends so good to be with you twice today but I'm glad that you could hear me a lot clearer this time so I just encourage you keep seeking after his heart and stay in the word. Keep the promises of God and the rhema word that God has given you. Keep it in front of your eyes day and night, right? Don't allow your eyes to be anywhere else but the word of God and on Jesus. Don't feast on anything else but what he's saying. Rebecca, you're going to know joy again. You will know joy again in substantial measures. The Lord is going to make up Rebecca Lee, right? This is, I've just got a word for you that the Lord is, uh, is not only going to restore joy to you, but you, he wants you to know you're not going to come out short. You are not going to come out short in this season. There is a breakthrough with your name on it, and you're coming out the other side, and you're going to have more in, more in this season than you've ever had. And, and I saw a laugh coming out of you, Rebecca, a laugh that is, is not only the laugh of joy, but a laugh of, of absolute awakened authority to who you are. You're going to laugh at the enemy. Everything that he's tried to do, how he's tried to kill you and hold you down and, uh, and really knock you out. You're going to turn around in this season as the Lord heals you and sets you free and you're going to laugh at the enemy. Those old tricks of his are not going to work anymore. Hallelujah. The Lord is decreeing breakthrough over you today, Rebecca Lee. In Jesus' name. All right, friends, lots of love to you and uh, look forward to being with you again soon. All righty, see ya. Bye-bye.